This is Daniel Club exploring a cave. Hi, I'm here with Doug, and today Doug and I are going to explore a cave. Hi, Doug. Hi, Daniel. Nice to meet you, pal. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Is it true that it's colder in caves because the sun can't get in? Absolutely. In fact, some caves, there's spots where you may even still see snow or ice that the sun hasn't been able to melt. How far down are we going? Well, the cave we're here at today, Daniel, uh, it's a deep crevice. It uh, runs about 60 feet. We'll be going down, which is quite a ways. Wow. Yeah. I've been in a pool, and the deep end was 20 feet. Well, there you go. Multiply that a little bit, and that's how far down we're going to go. Are you Thanks. excited? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hold on tight, buddy. I am. We're off the stairs now, so we really have to make sure that uh, we keep our balance. I see you've got good running shoes on with a really good tread. You keep, you keep your grip. Key is to always look where you're taking your next step. A little slippery, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful this place is. Look at all the, look at all the plant life. I think there's an opening over there. You want to go check it out? Yeah. I think I see a cave. Hey, that looks like a good one. Let's let's check it out, Daniel. Whoa, that's wow. deep. Wow, that's way down. Hold your head. Oh, yeah, I'm squeezing, buddy. Hey, Daniel, wait for me on that, that spot there, because you know what, buddy? Okay. We're going to need, we're going to need our lights here. Oh. Let's see how far down this goes. Oh, I see some ice. Hey, yeah, there. You know what? That's that's how. That's like. That's hard. Why is this all wet? Well, if you look up, Daniel, look way up. See the water way coming up from the top. Yeah. Well, when it rains or when there's water up on the top on the ground, it seeps through the ground and it comes down through the caverns and the crevices and and then it gets way down here, like we're way down and almost in the bottom of this cave, and that's why all the walls are wet. It's kind of like oh. a tap that's been left on. Caves are like a whole different universe or something. It's pretty awesome down here. It's like we're on Mars or something. Yeah. All the different walls and formations. Should we keep exploring and go further in? Yeah. Okay. What's that chirping? Yeah, did you hear that too? Look at a little, a little toady. That's the chirping you heard. He must be eating some of the bugs that he's finding in this cave. He feels like a a plastic toy. Yeah, almost like somebody glued dirt all over his back, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Should we put him back so we can carry on and maybe he's got yeah. a family in here somewhere? I'll put him back on the rock where I found him right down here. You need to be pretty, pretty athletic to get through, okay? Oh, sir. Oh, I did it! I did, did it. it! I did it! Cool! Ten. High ten! High three! Uh, all high three! Awesome, buddy. Hey, Daniel, my friend Bill is here, and, and he's brought some bats. Would you like to go see some bats, some real cave animals? Yay! Okay, let's go, pal. Daniel, this is my friend Bill. Hi, Bill. How are you? Good ya? to see you. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Would you like Good. to see some bats? Yeah! This is Daniel Cook meeting a bat. Awesome. Okay, excellent. I like bats. Can you hear the noise that they're making? Yeah. This is a little brown bat. Mm. See how small they Aww. are? Maybe it stretch out its wing. See how they have arms that are very similar to ours? Yeah. They have really long arms with really long fingers with skin stretched in between. Can you hear the noise that they're making? Yeah, sounds like this. <laughs> exactly. Bats are also amazing because they also echolocate. Do you know what echolocation is? Is um, echolocation when they use echoes to locate things? Exactly. That's a, so in many ways, they're seeing with their ears. So this Is the echo locating right now? Yes, I think so. See how it's making, it's moving its mouth up and down? So the sound is going out of its mouth and nose. Like Why can't said. I hear it? Because the sound is uh, above our hearing range. Um, sometimes you see dogs and cats moving around when bats are around because they can hear them, but our ears just aren't able to hear them. Can I pet him? 
sure. It feels sort of like my cat. Yeah, it's very soft. It's only a little smaller. Try touching the wing. Be very gentle, because they're very fragile. Okay. Now, now, Bill, these are these are mammals, correct? Yes, and bats are one of the is the only mammal that flies. You probably heard of flying squirrels. Yeah, but do they, they don't really fly. No, they don't. They're just like, wow, <laughs> Exactly, they just glide. Thank you so much, Doug and Bill, for exploring caves with me. It was so much fun. We had fun too. Woo! Good job, buddy.